welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure all right look y'all <laughs> today we're gonna talk about it what it feels like to be the black sheep of the family oh my goodness please let me know in the comment section below and i'm we're not gonna just point it pinpoint it to uh being the black sheep of the family because truth is you're the, you are the black sheep in society like you're a black sheep in society this is, goes well beyond your family like this is the entire world okay <laughs> you're black sheep of the world the world so look what it would feel like to be the black sheep of the family to you let me know in the comment section below what is your experience but look being a black sheep of the family, you are different. You look different, you act different, you think different, you talk different, you walk different. <laughs> and although it may be similar, it may be similar to the average human, something about you, you got that little, that little trinkle, that little tr trickle effect. You got that drip, like you really affect people you really affect the situation like you really stand out you really stand out you stand out from others it don't matter if everybody is wearing a ponytail and their hair and black pants with a black shirt and you come in there with a ponytail black pants and a black shirt you still stand out okay as a black sheep your energy is different your energy is different your presence is felt okay People can look at you and they can tell that there's something different about you. As a black sheep, you don't really fit in. No matter how much you try, it's darn near impossible. It's darn near impossible. As the black sheep, a lot of times you get shamed for the, the way that you think. You get shamed for the way that you move. You get shamed for your thought process because a lot of people just really don't understand you. It's really hard to understand where you're coming from because your sense don't really make sense to people because they don't see other people moving like that. They don't see other people doing that. They don't see other people like talking like that. Your sense really doesn't make sense. So when you try to explain yourself to people, it still doesn't make sense. This is how you know that you're the black sheep of the family. Because people can't even understand. They can't even grasp what it is that you're talking about. Why that would make sense to you. Yes, okay, they can kind of see the logic in it. But at the same time, this is what everybody else is doing. This is what you should be doing. This is the way that everybody else is moving. This is the way that you should be moving. This is how people is looking at it like... You just always doing something different. <laughs> you always doing something different. You always thinking different. You always, like, you know how to say no. You know how to say no. You know how to not show up if that's not what you want to do. A lot of people can't understand that because um, it's no way that they would not show up. It's no way that they would miss it just because they don't feel like it today. Just because the energy is off like just like you be having some old wacky excuses for real for real in their eyes for real for real this is why a lot of times you don't even want to like you want to keep it real with people but you know people gonna just think you even more crazy than what they already think you is if you really tell them the truth like oh no i uh, the vibrations are off i feel like i just needed to leave like the energy was uh, was bad in the place like <laughs> what i remember i told someone like yeah i'm not uh like i don't fool with that place it was their birthday someone close to me it was their birthday and it was they was they was out and i said oh i don't fool with that place but if you want to hang out later after you're done with that then you can meet me at such and such like it was their birthday the average person would it's no way that they would have missed that just because they don't like the vibes of a place. I didn't like that place. I did not go. <laughs> you don't have to go. And this is how it is being a black sheep of the family. So people looking at you sideways like, well, who they think they is? Well, why wouldn't they show up? Oh, especially, don't let it be. I know somebody, I know somebody who ain't show up to their mama's birthday party. Oh, I know people was dragging them, dragging 
them, okay? <laughs> I know they got dragged, but it's like, come on now. For us, as the black sheep, it's like, it comes to a point where you got to live for you. You got to do things for you. But for others, it's like, no, nah, because of somebody's title, no, nah, because of who you are in the world, like who you are in society, like, no, nah, you need to do things a certain way. And being a black sheep of the family, you do things how you want to do them, when you want to do them, where you want to do them, <laughs> and you face the consequences as they come. Like, but a lot of times, it's like, you got, uh, you got fear and you got love. And it's like a lot of people are more so on this fear side and you're just constantly moving more and more towards this love side because it's like, no, oh, fear don't live here. As a black sheep of the family, you doing all type of stuff, whether it scares you or not. Whether it scares you or not, because you know it's like, okay, you either don't do it and be stuck where you at or you do it, you learn something or you do it and you succeed. You do it and you succeed. It's like, dang, people be preaching this one life thing. Uh, they sure don't be acting like it. Like, as the black sheep of the family, you do your best to, like, live. Like, you do your best to live. You be, like, attempting to do stuff. Like, you want to do stuff that's different. Like, that's what you do as the black sheep of the family. When you want to get the family together, you want it to be... Um, you want it to be more uh, meaningful. Majority of the world, they just want they want to get together and they want to do the regular, regular stuff. You want to do meaningful stuff. You want to actually spend some spend time together. Like as a black sheep of the family, you really stand out. You really stand out because you just like you. You do what you want to do. I mean, that's like the biggest thing. Like, you really be doing what you want to do. You really be doing what you want to do. And it, it, you seem kind of heartless for real for us sometimes. I ain't going to even lie to you. You seem kind of heartless. As the black sheep, people like to challenge you a lot. And I think the main reason is just because they don't understand. Like, as a black sheep, you're very misunderstood. You're very misunderstood. Like I say, even if you try to explain yourself to people, the average person still is not going to get it. They might say, oh, yeah, that makes sense. But deep down inside, they don't get it. They don't get you. You really like a little weird, though, okay? In a good way, though. <laughs> like, you may have always been called weird growing up. Like, I remember um, it was my cousin's boyfriend. He asked me, like, when I was a kid, he asked me, like, why don't you dress like everybody else? Like, in other words, he like, why ain't you got on these uh, tight pants showing your booty? Why ain't you got on little uh, belly shirts uh, showing half of your back, you know? And it's just like, I've always knew I was different. As a black sheep, you've always known that you were different from a little kid. Like, you didn't even fit in then. You didn't even fit in in your household. Like, people didn't understand you then. And that's okay. That really is okay. As a black sheep, you were born to stand out. You were born to stand out. People are really gonna uh, question like, like they, people people take it far sometimes. Like sometimes people wanna question your sanity like because they don't understand you. But it's like, you feel like you just so sane that everybody is cuckoo. Everybody is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> like what society says, that stuff don't make sense. The stuff just really, the math don't be mathing with society. This is why you're pushed to do your own thing. Because you done been there and done that. You done been there and done so much. As the black sheep, you stay being the center of attention. People are always asking about you. <laughs> They're always asking about you. Um, a lot of people, they don't agree with your life decisions. So let's say that you didn't come around. Oh, you best believe when you talk to somebody, they talking about everybody asks about you. Like everybody is always asking about you. They always want to know what you're up to. But people just be nosy for real, for real. Cause them same people they don't call. Them same people they don't they don't want to be in touch for real. They just want to know your business. As a black sheep, your life is very interesting to others. <laughs> your life is very interesting to others because you be making moves. 
you be making moves. You be doing stuff that people ain't seen done before. Like, you really be on some bossy type stuff. Like, you really be on some, I want to try something new, so I'm going to go ahead and do it type stuff. Like, I like that, though. I like I like that about you. I, I, I really do. But, yeah, as the black sheep, you just really stand out. You stand out. Out. If the crowd goes right, you are going left. And it's not because you just want to be rebellious or you just want to be like, or you just trying to be different. Like, you don't even force none of this. Like, as the black sheep, it's because you, your heart tells you to do something different. It's because your soul tells you to do something different. Because something don't sit right with you going left like left looks a little sketchy you want to go right because you can kind of see where it's going or like you want to go right because it ain't that many people like as a black sheep you don't want to be around a lot of people that's what people don't get you don't want to be around a lot of people in one setting like you do that every now and again but that stuff gets old it gets draining it gets boring okay <laughs> it gets boring like, if y'all ain't, if the vibrations ain't uplifting, then you're not trying to just be in that. Like, you didn't, you didn't did that. Like, you're getting older. As a black sheep, you feel like uh, the older you get, the wiser you get. But you notice in the world, it's like, it's no formula to this. It's no formula to it. So, it's like, you got some young people who's wise, mature. And then you got some older people that are supposed to be setting an example. And they really don't. As a black sheep, you can see through people's bull. Like, you very good. You're very good at reading people. You're very good at reading people. So, it attracts a lot of people. But, no, it really scares a lot of people off. It really scares a lot of people off because you keep it real. You keep it real as a black sheep. You keep it, like, you one of the realest people that you know. You one of the realest people that you know. So, it is what it is, black sheep. Um, if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. That's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you, stay spiritually attuned, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.